I am just on a review spree today, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Motor Geek 101 here again with another shooting video. Yes, another one. This time with the Remington Airmaster 77 pellet gun and air rifle. Today, <laughs> I said that wrong, air rifle and BB gun, my bad. Today we're going to be shooting some cans, variations of distances, and the same metal target you've seen in the last videos. This gun's a little higher FPS, so I will be pumping it less. We're just going to use the BBs today. The Daisy zinc plated BBs. Pellets take too long for a video. It'd bore you to death. But we're going to have this gun. I'm going to shoot a few shots down range. Just show you guys the kind of damage we can do with this gun. A lot more powerful. I could shoot it a lot further. I've hit cans back here before where this uh, little sewer grate is. But for the sake of the video and time, we're just going to go here for now. I'll probably make a more long range video later. Okay. Put a few pumps. Uh, the first shots we're going to go for are the cans in the back. I hit the one. I'm going to try and hit it again. There we go. Took the one down. See what else we can hit. See if I can take down the other can in the back. Man, that can does not want to fall. Ah, uh, it's getting there. We'll go for this can in the front here, see if we can knock him down. And he falls quick. I have an idea for that can in the back. See if this does the trick for us. That's what I thought, can stand down. I'm pumping this gun about four or five times because the full 10 pumps at 755 FPS really isn't necessary for this close range of a shot. Uh, now we're gonna shoot the black trapper and the little orange bird. First shot was a hit. And that's enough. Here's the gun we're shooting. The Daisy or the Remington Airmaster 77. Let's go see what we got out here. These cans fell pretty quick. This one actually got airborne. We shot this one up in the air pretty high. That one was uh, jumping, trying to hide from the next round, I'm sure. There we go, stupid cans. I'm gonna try and get a target for you guys that way it can just I want to get a spin target when you shoot it it spins around and resets itself that way I don't have to come out here and waste your guys' time resetting these targets you don't know how angry this makes me this was the can that was being stubborn and it wouldn't go down so I shot two rounds at it at once and really just blew it off its rock there all right take a few more shots from about 15 yards away with this gorgeous Remington Airmaster 77. Here we go. Go ahead and reset. These cans do not want to go down today. Just have to handle that. Six pumps. This ought to do it. That's taken down. Now we're going to take out this Mountain Dew can in the front here. And here we go. Dropped it. And we're out of ammo, so that's as far as we'll take it for now. You can see the breach. There's no ammo left. So we'll walk on over here. Oh man, I really wanted to drop this bird target. We'll see if I can uh, load some more ammo, but that's the kind of damages we're doing. Let's see, you know what, I'll reload because we're taking down that bird target. 
done it with every other gun so far. We're gonna do it with the Remington Airmaster. This thing's a beast. Just give me a second to reload, and that bird target's going down. There we go. That target's going down. Say bye-bye, bird target. Yeah. There we go. Celebratory shoot off a few more shots here. This is 10 pumps. Here we go. That was some heavy duty shot right there. That was 10 pumps with this bad boy. Now, if you haven't noticed in the other videos, I discussed how some of my more powerful BB guns will actually dent the back of this. As you can see, it is not a smooth surface. This thing is all bumpy and shot up. So is the inside. This thing takes some serious abuse. But that's what you got to do. Here's our target. Shot up. And there's our cans. So there you have it. The, you know, Remington Air Master 77. Little bird over there. Shooting the daisy zinc plated rounds is a monster from close range. If you want to know more about the gun, check out my page. I did a review on it. Great gun. Uh, this was kind of an underrated shooting for a gun of this amplitude, but you know, in the uh, sake of time and camera battery, we had to shoot now. Later on, I'll set up some longer range shots for you guys to check out, and that's it. Thanks for watching. You guys got any questions? Go ahead and post them. All right. Thanks, guys.